Water is our most precious resource, but with droughts, population growth, and the ever-growing need for agricultural goods, choosing sustainable practices to help resolve ongoing environmental challenges is extremely important. Oh, hi. Didn't see you there. According to the United Nations, by 2025, 1.8 billion people will be in areas or regions with absolute water scarcity and two-thirds of the world's population could be living under stress conditions. Currently, the agricultural sector uses 75% of the global water. With the ever-growing population, in 20 years, the Earth's population will need 55% more food supply than we have now, with the same amount of resources. This is a tremendous blow to our water supply. However, biotechnicians are helping farmers um, explore a way to protect the sustainability of the natural resources. And that solution is GMO crops. When people imagine GMOs, they imagine something like taking half of an apple and half of a lemon and somehow sticking them together to create an apple-lemon hybrid, when in reality, that couldn't be farther from the truth. GMO stands for Genetically Modified Organism, and it is where the DNA of a species is extracted and artificially forced into the genes of an unrelated plant or animal. This is done through genetic engineering. Genetic engineering is a process where a desired gene of an organism is extracted and isolated, spliced out of the surrounding genetic sequence, and cloned using laboratory techniques and through a process called transformation, is inserted into the organism that is desired to be modified. The crops then display the desired changes of the gene. So how does this apply to water conservation in agriculture? Well, this can be used by detecting traits that increase the rate of photosynthesis and the depth of root structure, as well as decrease the rate at which water is lost through transpiration. This has the potential to reduce the amount of global water required meant in food production. Take corn, for example. It is one of the most widely produced crops. Scientists are investigating ideas of how to increase sensitivity to abscisic acid, which causes the stomatas to close rapidly under stressful conditions. The stomatas are responsible for monitoring the rate of transpiration, which is where plants' water evaporates through pores of the skin. GMO crops can help farmers make better use of their land and water resources. For example, farmers use tilling, which is simply the turning over and breaking up of the soil. GMOs can allow farmers to not till as much or to adopt no-till practices. Um, no-till systems preserve the natural structure of the soil, which increases the capacity for moisture retention. In conclusion, genetically modified crops have helped reduce the irrigation needs of the U.S. grown cotton by 20% over the last 20 years. As we continue on day by day, biotechnology will continue to play a big role and farmers should be open to considering planting genetically modified crop varieties, which will help conserve water, our most precious resource.